just before we get into this week's podcast, I just want to say thank you to our sponsor. And our sponsor this month is Zebra Pen. Zebra is a returning sponsor this month. And uh, at Zebra, they're serious about making the best pens possible, which means that their lab team is always testing, innovating, and perfecting ink formulas. They like to help people learn more about the character characteristics of pens, ink types, and, and terminology. So the pen you choose delivers the best performance for your needs. And uh, they sent us a giant box full of swag to give away at our drawing events, as well as our Daily drawing challenge uh, for this month will will be a Zebra Art Pen product prize package. Oh, that's a lot of P's in there. So, yeah, so thank you to uh, Zebra Art Pens. You can go to zebrapens.com and check out their products. And uh, make sure you check out our Facebook page for the Daily Drawing Challenge for that giveaway. And if you're in Plymouth or the San Angelo, Texas area, you can go to our drawing events. And we'll be giving away some products as door prizes there as well. So thanks again to Zebra, and thanks, guys, for listening. doesn't right? help when Florida is See, I always just... thought it was a fat guy thing, but nope. Ken Evie's not fat genetic. nor a guy. It's just, <laughs> it's just me. Yeah. It's just my glands. Big glands for a little lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we bring you in as a model. Yeah. Everyone likes to draw your gland. Hell yeah. <laughs> I keep them exposed. I'm assuming exp- that you're laughing that this is recording. I keep them yeah. exposed and I'm expressed. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Nebri like Art. Be Sean, we both get our glands expressed to what? together. Nothing. Oh, no. That's different. <laughs> that's totally different. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's like a dog butt thing. I Gross. know, yeah. Uh, all right, welcome back to the Ebrar podcast. Uh, Speaking of dog butt things, welcome to yeah, today's uh, to discussion. Talk about dog butts. Yeah. Um, we are recording today at the New World Tavern. We just finished our figure drawing. And Fish reminded me that episode 10, we brought in Jennifer Evie. Yeah, and they just informed me the sound really sucked on it, so. I feel like, didn't we tell you that? I feel Sorry. like we told you that, right? It wasn't you. <laughs> it, it was us. I could see. The it's so distracting. I can't sit on that side because I get distracted by, like, I start watching myself talk and it's just I, weird. Yeah, because I'm talking yeah. and it's like, whoa, whoa, tone it down, Jennifer. So oh, when you're not expressing dog glands, which is gross. Uh, what have you been up to, man? It's been like a long time since we've had you on. You, uh, you, so you just got back from Florida. Let's start there. Yep, just got back from Florida. I hate flying. I still do. I it kind of reinforced that on that plane trip to uh to Fort Lauderdale. But I was um staying in Deerfield Beach. Nice. It's pretty nifty. Lots of palm trees. Lots of humidity. Lots of nice Floridian butts anyways but you know but i went for work yeah <laughs> not for the floridian butts not for that was just like a bonus that was just a bonus yeah. yep some uh i had some art modeling down there but nice. i was originally down there for a photo shoot so oh so you just picked up some art modeling picked up, you know you gotta pick up some more have you b- i feel like you've been doing a lot more of that a lot more of what photo like, or just modeling in general modeling in general it seems like it seems like you're really kind of yeah it's been a i'm just enjoying the ride while it lasts yeah just you know having a good time and then the dog sitting i've been doing a lot of that too lately because so. it seems like you're you're the most prolific model that we work with because it i wouldn't go that far the and this isn't a knock on anybody we work with but it, it, you're always posting I'm doing, stuff i'm done yeah. staying as busy as best as i can Staying out of trouble, uh, at least the kind that brings you to puts you in jail. Yeah, jail trouble's no good. Yeah. Um. So you, I don't remember if you were doing this last time, but you're like organizing shoots too, right? You'll like come up with ideas and bring in other models and. Yeah, I try at least once a month to get in a project, but um, lately I've been uh, I, I wouldn't say slacking on it. It's usually I book something and then. I either get a call from a pet sitting client and it's like, yeah, guys, sorry, I got to cancel that. Or I just pick up 
some other work, like in Florida, for example. Right. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I try to get in my uh, my creative outlet at least once a month. I'm going to try to do that this So where do you come month. up with the ideas for the shoots? Oh, Is it... Sh- they just, I don't know, just whatever I, it's usually something visual that I see, and I'm like, oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Like, there was one shoot a while back, a while back, years ago, where um, I did a series of uh, getting honey poured on my arms, and then feathers came down, and then confetti, or was it the other way? No, it was the confetti, and then the fe- I don't. I feel but like those that would three take things came down to clean up. And where did I get that inspiration from? A... Uh, a faucet commercial so um yeah that like <laughs> it was just a bunch of dirty hands with sticky stuff so i just you know kind of applied it to something a little more creative and pinupish. but yeah just yeah weird things like that well you did like a really cool one that i thought i personally thought was really neat like, it was like a it, it was like a bathtub full of milk I was with say, donuts like, like, like that my I thought recent that was milk great. and donut yeah, yeah, shoot that was a great one not exactly sure how that came about just oh had yeah the munchies just, and was like just kind of just snacking in yeah. in a body of water and you know, just kind of contemplating, like I wonder how that would look if it was covered in milk. And then I wonder how well donuts float. Maybe I should just do a shoot to try it out. And do you think it's cookies? Do you think it's more like does the object lead the idea, or is it like a mix between the color? Like, excuse me, I'm, uh, I'm sure my my imagination runs rampant i'm just always just thinking of little ideas like oh what if we did something like this or yeah just little creative ideas here and there but yeah it just nothing i don't get it from anything specific some just something just comes to mind just i look at like something and just reference and like, yeah, yeah. I, i've been wanting to do this alfred hitchcock related shoot for a long time now and i mean it's based on an episode that struck me when i was like Six years old, five, six years old, watching Nick at Night. Alfred everybody Hitchcock should be presents. watching Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah, the every child. Um, and yeah, I watched the episode again and got inspired. And I want to. I have this. I have a drag queen, Veronica Marie. You guys should look her up. Um, uh, planning to uh, kill her, kill a husband with a leg of lamb and eat it afterwards. That's a photo shoot that I've been wanting to do for a while. So nice. So, so yeah, when you get these ideas, do you think of like. So when you have that idea, did you think of her immediately, or do you think of a photographer? I have, I have a specific, certain group of people that I contact first, like my go-to creative mm-hmm. team. And usually, you know, if they're unavailable for whatever reason, then you know I'll post casting calls and things like that. But um, I'm a firm believer of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I have a very groovy group of people that we all know, you know what everyone's strengths are and you know how and we all seem to flow nicely together mm-hmm. during a, a creative process so might as well just just keep it going and that's kind of how like we got with the models here is like every time we have someone pose for us i'm like well let's book you for the next one exactly and we only have maybe like eight models that's that, it and, and they're just kind of huh? on this you know, you figure twice a year we get Some, them in. A rotation. You know, and, you know, we're always trying to get new people in, but it, it gets to the point where you're like... Yeah. You have that comfort zone. You know you can always rely on this person I know to they're going to show up. Exactly. I know they're going to be good. I know they're... They stand uh, still well. They're going to be sober. <laughs> <laughs> that's a plus. Well, we've had a model well, or two show sober because I'm pretty stoned right well, now. Well, that's different. You still hold still. <laughs> um, I know I do. Thank you. Uh, Not bad for it, a pothead. It, it, it's more the, uh, you know, other things. It's that more you could of be the on. H and the ah. M. <laughs> it might be the. Wait, which one's the M again? Or the, what is the I'm trying to think about the, the C. The C. I don't know. We had one that was just clearly on something and the had S? some real trouble. She fell out of a chair. Oh, sure. That's not vertigo. It, I mean, it could have been. It could have been, but, like, I wasn't a huge fan. So, like, you know, you move on, and they're just not fit for what we do. But, you know, we get that, that good, solid group that we have, and we try to filter people in when we can. Yeah. Try to get some new faces in and, once in uh, a while. One of the things that everyone looks forward to when you're here is, what the fuck is Jennifer even going to show up in? Everyone should place bets, like, once uh 
once everyone knows the month I'm assigned. Because you know me, I usually try to play with that like monthly yeah, yeah, the, theme. The kind of theme, which yeah, is kind of cool. Yeah, because it makes it just makes it easier for let's, me. Let's book Jen Evie for what's a month that has no theme? Oh goodness, <laughs> oh, a wild card like August, well, like June. August? June's like that June? stepchild month. June just. and August are just like summer. Like non. I'll do graduation theme and Father's yeah. Day. I'll come in as a dad. I think the first time <laughs> I'll bring a kid. You can bring a kid. I'll with bring you? a kid as a prop. <laughs> you put an ad like yeah. that on Craigslist. I'll have I'll have like five. I'm sure that hour. Be great. An hour and like they eight, won't come back. Eight for cops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Undercover. No, but I, I remember the first time we brought you in was for Christmas. You brought in a Christmas tree and a nutcracker. Yes. Yes. Then we brought you in for Fourth of July. That I believe you had your father's military. I did some guard? America stuff. America. Yep. yep. I had my I had my stepdaddy's army uniform on. Yeah, and then uh, there was the infamous horse head. Yep. Halloween's a. October's a good month. We definitely, I hope we still have an October date left because we're going to book that because you always bring in cool stuff. Gotta. It's Halloween. And I feel like, you know, we always get people that kind of like peer in the back room being like, what's going on back there? But when you're here, it's usually like, what the fuck is going on back there? Once in a while, I notice like, you know, um, especially with the bunny costume on because then I can look around and no one knows. That's yeah. the fun thing about it. But I swear I could see like legs just, just there for a while. Yeah. Especially when it came to the knife part where I'm like wielding a knife. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, Miss Cauliflower over there, she was probably, I don't know if I freaked her out. Like, can I oh, have your knife, ma'am? Because you stole her knife? <laughs> oh, she's a regular. I'm sure she's not too freaked out. I don't know her name. Don't... Uh, I hope she's not listening to that. Like, Cauliflower? That's, that's Pat. Name. She's super Pat, great. okay. Pat, yeah. Miss Cauliflower sounds like a character in Clue that got X'd. The only, there's only one person that got X'd in Clue. It was Mr. Body. Well, you know what I mean. Not necessarily literally <laughs> X, but just that character. They're like, no, that's a bad idea. This uh, peacock sounds so much better. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like, I kind of scrubbed in the in the yeah. development stage there. Like, Miss Cauliflower, can't we just call her Miss White? That's okay. Good idea, Jim. Uh, so Ms. There, White. there was. Wait, is there a Miss White in the game? Yeah, yeah, the maid. White. The maid. Miss Cauliflower had, was something cuter. I had a super think. weird conversation the other day with someone about Clue VCR. Do you remember with the fad of VCR games? VCR games. Yeah. There was a short-lived... Like, like board games that had a VCR that, with it? Because I, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. those. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. And there was a Clue one, and then they added, like, oh, I was unaware Miss of that. Peach, and there was another character that they added. <laughs> Jeez. I remember there was one, like, teen dating board game, video board game, and... Like, if you lost, you had to, like, hang out with the nerds on a Friday night, or you got to hang out with all the I don't the think anyone ever lost that because I'm I didn't sure hang out with anybody on Friday night. I don't get that board game. Yeah. That's just asking for Although, someone to Although, th- there is a really, a really great VCR game. Which one? It's called Commercial Crazies. Oh, don't know that one. So, there was this whole thing in the 80s. Like, you remember the Where's the Beef commercial? Is this like a uh, kind of trivia reference of like 80s pop culture sort to see what you know? But it, no, 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 no. It wasn't quite trivia. Oh, I was going to say I would fuck somebody up in that so game. So it, just it would come, it, it's a great game. <laughs> so it came with a VCR tape. Naturally. And like trivia questions, but you would watch a commercial and then you would have to answer the questions after. So it would be like... Like what? related to the commercial? Yeah. Okay, okay. So it would be like, well, how many flamingos did the guy have on his lawn? Oh, see, oh, those so kind of it, questions. It would get to the point you where you'd like start attention. to watch these commercials and be like, all right, it's 475, yeah, 475, mm-hmm. 415 on the, the clock behind him, and he's talking to Steve on the phone. Oh, and, goodness, like the car is blue that yeah, drives yeah, yeah, by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Toyota is yeah. blue. So it's a lot of fun, but if you have a VCR. Say so I like 80s stuff, like pop culture trivia. I thought you were going to say it was one of those. Well, pop culture trivia is always great, but... I watched a lot of TV as a child. Not saying my parents were bad. I just watched a lot well, of TV. Well, I watched a lot of TV, <laughs> So I know a lot of 80s well, you commercials. Showed up in a, you showed up in a Battle of the Planets costume. True. So, this is true. obviously, you're an 80s I, nerd. I got an idea of it. I mean, I was only aware of, like, six years of it. Okay, maybe. Maybe four. The first two years, don't ask. What, of TV or Battle of life. Of life? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was born in 84, so... It's like I was only aware of a few years of it, yeah, but, but I held still, on to those few years. But then years. there's stuff like in repeats, so yeah. I always find it weird to like talk to people and figure out what they remember. Bring up an 80s reference to some youngins and just watch their heads 
get so confused. Oh my god, we were talking about Mork and Mindy at work the other day. Nano, nano. And this girl, I heard that on the radio. This girl's kind of like laughing, and I'm like, "You have no idea what we're talking yeah. about." She's, she's like, like I, 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 yeah. no, she's like, I don't, I have no I don't idea." Know. <laughs> and you're like, "Well, Mrs. Doubtfire used to be on a TV show." Yep. Um. Wow, oh, we got off track there quite substantially. But so that's um, the point of these. Pretty much, yeah. We, we we're known for so going. You're gonna get old Barbara Walters on me. Now's uh, not. Oh the my time. god! I made a girl cry on the on box. this. Yes. What did you do? What did I, you well, say? I, I shouldn't say I made. I didn't what make her, her cry. What part of her past did you bring up? We started talking about. She works for like a charity, and we kind of started talking about like how she got involved in the charity and, and stuff. And then she starts to tear up and kind of like. Aww. And it was just like, oh my! I didn't know. Like I'm like I don't know, know what how, to like, say I don't know what to say extent. like it's like so so today's weather uh, tomorrow's weather is going to be partly cloudy <laughs> <laughs> it was more just like please don't cry please don't cry please don't cry please don't cry on the microphone at least please yeah, no. <laughs> uh, that would be me crying on the microphone no just yeah. me thinking selfishly don't cry oh, on the microphone no it was more just like I didn't know I I was like a deer in headlights um kind of like now. No, really? <laughs> Shut up. I was going to ask you about the costume thing. So you're still doing Evie's Closet, right? Yep, still doing that. Still dressing up people once in a while here and there. And that's... Directing a shoot. Or one or the other. Or both. It's a lot of fun. And so that's uh, general costume rentals, clothing rentals. I was going to say, yeah, a little bit of everything. Because I dress up, you know, for... Well, I dress up people for... Some for photo shoots and... Sometimes it's just friends or family friends contacting me, saying, hey, I'm going to this event. I need something to wear. How do you keep track of all the stuff you have? I don't know. I managed to do it well in my head for however strange reason. Is it like that weird, like, reason. kind of, you just know where shit is? It, and... it, it is, but yet, don't ask me where, yeah. Don't ask me where my bottle of lotion is right now, and it'll take me like hours to find uh, my keys. You an, know, but well, we know where your keys were the entire I know, time. Last time, well, I shouldn't say the entire time. Almost, but the I'll tell you time. where all my denim the button down blouses are. I'll tell you what bin they are and how many how many bins down to the left and here and there, and you'll find it. It'll be that accurate. Don't ask me what I ate two days ago. See, so, yeah, I, I could tell you it was delicious. I have that same uh, <laughs> kind of like weird thing. So I, I, I maintain the marketing closet at work, and my boss like freaks out because she walks in, she doesn't know where anything is, no no boxes labeled. I still and I'm like, it's, no, it's right here. My yeah. pet and house sitting, and with the model booking, I still do it on a calendar with a pencil. Paper calendar? Oh yes, nice, yes, love it. And love I turn it. it into my my accountant every year. <laughs> like It'd here's like, my schedule. Go fix that. <laughs> it's yeah. puppies this year. You got a calendar. <laughs> yeah, I, I I have tried. She's like, oh, thanks, psycho bitch. To make the switch over to like a digital calendar. I can't, no, no, I can't no, do no, it. No, I, no, I don't, no, no. It doesn't work for me. Well, I'd rather just have a, a paper reference, too. I would see I would be that crazy person to do both, which would just be more time consuming because I would just want something to fall back on in case all the power shuts down or someone decides to hack my phone for whatever reason. And. I just you know, to me it's more like I, I can't I, I just I can't switch I yeah. I feel like the paper calendar I flip open I see everything I need to see I'm still on a Super Nintendo game controller Don't ask me about that Xbox Who puts a triangle on a button I don't know but well the, there's like a big like resurgence of retro gaming <laughs> like everywhere downtown here has like retro game nights oh, I love it yeah. After this I will be uh Hanging out with my cousin. He has the mini Nintendo. I have the mini Super Nintendo. Yeah. Enough said. I, I, uh, be a hollow ass. They were they're Mario playing style. across the street over at the Speedwell like a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. That's groovy. And I stopped in and they have like, I don't know, like a dozen monitors with a bunch of different games. And I was just oh. like, oh my God, that girl's playing Zombies that Ate My Neighbors. Oh, that's awesome. And I was like, oh my God, I love that game. Fabulous. <laughs> and so I'm just like kind of looking over her shoulder being like, go left, go left. I know. Left. Probably left. breathing all heavy yeah. on her. Yeah. Just don't even realize She's it. She's like psycho. Like, excuse me, I need space when I play this. <laughs> been like, no, just let me do it for you. You're fucking it up. <laughs> so are you a big gamer? Oh, yeah. I was, I was just thinking that the other day when I was watching, I was watching someone play, like, the game, 
play it through at least the first five minutes so I can get an idea of what I was expecting. And it was basically five minutes of me yelling at this guy because he didn't know what he was doing. Like, just no t- no management, no organization. So uh, then I played it. I Because <laughs> my kids are more into, like, the first-person shooters. and I can't do those. I, I usually wind up in a corner shooting in the air, and then someone shoots me from behind two minutes later. Over well, that, well, that drives over me crazy when you're getting shot, and you're like, I don't know where the fuck it's coming from. You're like, oh, this person's easy. Yeah. But I also feel like... She sucks. People spend <laughs> so much time... Like, I want to play a game and enjoy it and not have to make it a lifestyle. And I'm not one for online. I don't I don't think I've really done any type of online gaming, like, where I've spoken, like, where you talk to someone who's playing the game with you yeah. in, like, Santa Barbara, California, or something like that. And That was a very specific location. Yeah, that's a very... And it has <laughs> nothing... No... Santa Barbara is cool with me, just as Canton, Ohio is, or where, wherever, Springfield fill in whatever state i just that Santa barbara came to mind i don't know why but i don't even know where i was going with that anyways but oh uh playing against people but yeah i just don't yeah i like to just play me and and my game game. right right or whatever or the computer quote unquote you know when i'm playing video games i kind of want to be any social yeah i don't want to like especially if i'm talking all this shit (laughs) (laughs) Yelling at it. Yeah. I don't need somebody to hear that. Like, could you not? Shut the fuck up. Or some 10-year-old being like, you suck. Yeah. I (laughs) I just want to play the game. (laughs) What what is your preferred uh, game of choice? Role-playing games. Basically games where I don't have to do much um, button combination. Video games are not role-playing games. Like a total chip on my shoulder. Not much... uh, complexity with the buttons mm-hmm. that seems to be mine because it seems like my uh so like a hand eye coordination and Fantasy, my fine i wasn't one Zelda. final Fantasy. see i specifically bought super nintendo for earthbound i don't know if you're familiar with earthbound nope but oh lord have mercy you should watch, you should just watch uh i don't know if you ever heard of angry video game nerd on youtube but he has a whole video which just breaks uh, down the whole game you for watch you. video games on youtube nerd i do i watch, I watch the walk <laughs> I, I watch nintendo walkthroughs on youtube and realize how much i suck at nintendo I used games to have, i used to have a roommate and i would give him so much shit it's about like oh, oh. watching video game walkthroughs and then i got addicted to watching uh people playing dungeon dragons mm-hmm. and i'm like i have just mm-hmm. lost the moral high ground and i hate watching a game and it's like oh that Nintendo game only took 20 minutes to beat. It took me five years to just give up <laughs> and just get never get, get past spot. the water level yeah. of whatever fill in the game here because every water level in every freaking video game just sucks. Yeah. But that's just my I opinion. Was, I, but um, Sonic had a water level, right? It had. No, I'm thinking the Mario one. I do like the Telltale games on... um. Xbox and PlayStation, all I don't that know jazz. Those either. Telltale games. You just said you don't play Xbox because it has a, a. That's the one time I've played a triangle Xbox. Button. You just because oh, all I have to do is oh, pick suddenly a the story changes. or B. Yeah, no, you. Just, oh, and it's what, great what if because you have to press triangle. And it's great because, um, your choices determine how how the game ends. Oh, so. that's kind of cool. Still not real. It's like yet. I could be a good person, <laughs> and then I could play again and be a major asshole and just let everybody die except me. And it's okay. And yeah. it's okay to do that in the game. I still win. Come on. I mean, Uh-oh. you can't beat that. As long as I you're alive at the end, I you still win. I went kind of far back with that. So you've named off a bunch of games I've never heard of. Usually uh, so that's the case. Like, really, well, I know games. Well, you can name some Nintendo games and some Super Nintendo games. I'd know those. Don't, just please don't go any further than that. Well, what, like Sega, Sega Genesis. Yeah. Like Altered Beasts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, wow, that's old school. That's like their first game. Yeah. Road Rash. Road Rash, we yeah. Used to get super wasted. I used to like kicking the cop, and all the cops had Irish names like O'Leary. We used or to Rook, <laughs> or like, like I don't know if you remember Fuck this. Fuck you, O'Leary, and try kicking him but off the bike. If your bike got too much damage and you went back to it, it exploded. And like we were always like fucked up playing against each other, and they'd be like, "Oh, your bike's gonna explode!" And be like, "Fuck you! I'm just gonna run the rest of the race." Yes, yes. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Like, they were, fuck it came you, to a Brian. Point. I'm just gonna run. It came oh. to a point where I 
would just do that. I'd be like, fuck this. Oh, I'm running. And we would all just be like, yeah, she's everyone running. Go- she's running. Is she going to make it to the finish line? Everyone would go outside for a cigarette and come back. You're still fucking running the race. And I was like, uh, I couldn't go out for a cigarette. I was too young for that. But, yeah. like, you know, either my aunt and uncle or my parents would just be like, we were what the fuck are you guys, like, cheering about? Like, <laughs> he's running. Like, Okay. Yeah, we used to play that. Uh, Street Fighter, we played way too much. Uh, I used to always like the. What is it? I mean, everyone knew Chun Li with the kicks. And then yeah, Street Fighter. You had like E Honda with the arm thingy, the. Uh-huh. <laughs> like just moving really fast. I used to always like that. Um, I don't know what I don't know what origin he is, but some type of shaman guy and his arms used to always stretch. Oh yeah yeah yeah. He was uh, Indian. Okay. Uh, oh, people used to hate when I would play that because I was so you hit you from across the you could pit. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was pissed off because I know what I'm doing. See, I never knew Shit. what I was doing. I just hit buttons. Until, oh, me too. Yeah. But I knew what I was doing because I was just hitting random buttons. It seems to be a good, a good that, system. There, there was another one that was like this really like episodic Heart of the Alien or something like that, and you could like jump. Can't you, think of that you, one. Like, you, your options were really like you had a gun, but it shot like really slow. Huh. But it was more like story and puzzle based. Oh, okay. And you'd have to like go like three screens forward. It was boring. <laughs> they thought that's when I no. won the uh, Nintendo Champion. <laughs> of the world. That's the eighth time I got crabs. <laughs> Oh, that story is way better than in mine. a week. <laughs> way to go, fish! But anywho, you missed that story. Nintendo. <laughs> it, w- I'm actually playing this game now. It's on um, it's on, it's on Google Play Store. I'm I'm moving up. Google Play Store. Okay. Um, yeah, because I'm not fancy. I don't have an iPhone. I'm cheap. So uh, it's it's called This War of Mine, and it's a nice. Dep- I like good depressing game, and it's kind of like this country in the middle of a civil war and you're a bunch of people living in a rugged house trying to survive and you go and scavenge every night. Oh, see, that totally sounds like my kind of and game. And sometimes, like, you know, sometimes you could do it the right way and not have to deal with people, but sometimes, you know, supplies get low. So you got to make some choices. you got to choke a bitch or nice. choke a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the two choices. You choke know, a bitch you, or choke you the gotta, other bitch. you got to, you know, break into the homeless compound and... Oh, Thank you. I need that tent, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I was playing it. Was, my thing with all the cell phone games, it seems like it's all time-based. It's now. not on my phone, thankfully. It's on my Chromebook. Oh, I don't yeah. I do not do anything on my phone, and I like it that way. I don't get how people do all their... Ba- I'm, see, I'm maybe too paranoid to get all this personal stuff on a phone. Like, you know, like, oh, do your banking online, mobile. No, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, to have my personal banking information just access that through my phone at some yeah, random place. I don't, I don't go to I my don't bank know. ever. Yeah. It's That's great. Certain things I don't do. I, I call. I'm, I'm probably... That's about it. I call. You I have call a call on your phone? I don't I, even know my phone does that. I have to with, with pet sitting. Oh, yeah. You got to yeah. put the... It's like, hi. Oh, my God. Do they call? Welcome to Overnight Dog Sitting. This is Jennifer. Can I answer any questions for you? Do you, does anyone ever call me like, can I talk to Mittens? Can you put Mittens on the phone? Yeah, Fish, its fucking name is Mittens. Oh, fuck yeah. I've had, uh, like, this one client just do you, recently. Do you literally like, have when to, I, like, when hold I, the phone up to the dog? Not hold up the phone, but let's, for example, this past Christmas, they were in, uh, they were in Australia having the time of their lives, and I was at their home with their, uh, with their poochikins, and... There were presents under the tree. Didn't realize it until I got the phone call. And she's like, can you open up the presents with Katie and make a video (laughs) and send it to us? Katie's the dog. So, yep, we opened up one freaking present at a time. This Kong toy, that Kong toy. This one makes a squeaky noise. This one makes like that water bottle crushing sound. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's having a great time, and so am I. Just like, holy shit. You sounded a little sarcastic when you said so am I. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh man, this is this is it. This is the life <laughs> this right is here. A dream. I'm living this is the dream. dream. Next present, Katie. Been like, Nothing all these me, presents though. are for the dog. <laughs> <laughs> then afterwards, you know, I just cry on her shoulder and she says it's gonna be all right. What is the craziest pet slash dog request that you've had to deal with? 
have had, well, I'm, I've had... Other than opening Christmas presents. For I mean, it. I've had someone ask about a tortoise, like if I watched the tortoise, and the answer was, hell yeah, but that didn't pan yeah, through, unfortunately. Yeah, but I feel like that's... I've had, oh, I've had some... <laughs> I had some interesting pet-sitting stories. Like, uh, one, one family, they were out in uh, Brookline. We'll call the dog M. Okay. For, uh... <laughs> Oh, what's that word? The uh, uh, an- anonymity. I, it, it, thanks, that one. Yeah, too many syllables right there. But um, yeah, pets in that pooch over the holidays, like Christmas and New Year's. So naturally, I'm going to make myself something delicious. It's the holidays. Yeah, just made myself a little ham, and oh, their their kitchen was just mint, just like heated floors. In the kitchen? Oh yeah, just like refinished kitchen, like oh, this dope. massive stove that you would think you'd see at some like you know five-star restaurant but nope right in their kitchen you know, giving the dog a piece of ham i mean it's christmas time why not oh no dog seems so excited like it never had ham before because it never had ham before <laughs> and that's when i noticed like that's when i noticed the menorah in the other room and stuff like that oh because the dog never it had was ham one of before. those like <laughs> one of those like scenes in a movie like where you see it and then you get like dun, dun, like it gets closer like it pans closer in the movie <laughs> And so I'm just, like, looking around, and I'm seeing another one, and I run downstairs to the fridge, and I'm reading kosher flounder, kosher. So I'm like, son of a bitch. I don't know if I'm not, I don't know much about Judaism, and I'm not a religious person. I'm not sure if there is a hell, but that, I I, I did something to that dog. I don't think so. I I don't think. uh, I've been tempted to just randomly send them a whole Keflon pots and pans set because I feel like I've tainted it. I was going to say, I don't think you're supposed to prepare kosher food. No, you're you're telling me not a Christmas (laughs) ham. Someone, I forget, someone I met years ago and I've just met them just a couple of times and I forget what it is in Hebrew, but they were calling me the tainted one. That's what they were, uh, that that was my nickname to them because that's the story, you know, that I told them about. I don't know what that is in Hebrew, but. The that's, tainted that's one sweet nickname, is though. me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it kind of sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds dangerous. Apparently, it's only dangerous for your dog, right? But you know, after a while, I kind of thought to myself, if I should like put religious uh, background in the form, not to be an ass, but, but just, just be just like, sort of your dog ham, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> yeah, interesting things like that in the world of uh, pet and house sitting. Yeah, I would never even think of that. That's crazy. Neither would I. <laughs> Neither did <laughs> I. Neither did I. Neither did I. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, yep. That's the that's some fun misadventures. Do you have a particular favorite pet that you sit? I don't know if I should say that. Well, you can just like. For all I know, they like. Like the ones that I don't like are listen. <laughs> I'm kidding. I like they. They're all good doggies. Yeah. I've never had. Thankfully, there's no wood to knock on in this establishment. Uh, this is kind of wood right uh, here. Legitimate. Okay. Yeah, that's woody enough. Yeah. But yeah. I've never had an. I've never had an asshole pet. Asshole owners. Well, of course. On occasion. But uh, nope. All good. All good doggies. You know, uh, I was asked earlier tonight how how my dog free life is going. <laughs> And uh, I tell them, you have a void. Oh my god! I go down to the local breweries because every brewery in town is dog friendly. Should leave some business cards there. Oh, it's great. Yeah, you should. And then I spend like all this time being like, "Hey, can I pet your dog?" And they're like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "Oh, you got boy." After about five minutes, I'm like, "I feel like I've pet this person's dog too long Mm -hmm. and not talked to them." It's like, yeah, we're done. Can we go home now? Yeah, it's like, I, I don't really want to <laughs> talk to you. Can I borrow your dog for a while? <laughs> um, do you have a favorite breed, though? Yeah. Uh, I I grew up with a Doberman. I like Dobermans a lot. Like a nice big dog. So you're not like a Chihuahua. I don't mind the Fufu dogs. Percy kind of dog. I grew up with, oh my gosh, we've, we've had Dobermans. Pomeranians, oh, Sean's. I saw a. We had a Chihuahua for a short while, but my dad wasn't really feeling Ch- that. Chow poo poo chow. What the? F- what, what's what's a Chihuahua poo platter? Mi- what's Chihuahua poodle mix called? A Chihuahua. P- Ooh. They're like, oh shit. Um, Chipood. A cockapoo is a cocker spaniel poodle. Yeah. I saw one of those recently. Very a cheap. Cute. Chipu Poochie Poochie I feel like it would make that, that That would make sense 
I saw one of those. But oh. Poochie's been a name for a while. I don't, <laughs> think one, I don't think that breed should now own it. Research? What's don't going spill on? your beer. Don't spill your uh, po- Chihuahua poodle mix is called a chipu. Oh, chipu. a chipu. I don't feel like that's what they told me. Well, chipu. unfortunately, that's chipu. the first thing that showed up. Chipu. Maybe it was a... I swear, some people are buying these dogs because it sounds so cute. Yeah. I got a chipu named Lexus. You, so well, I'll be honest. They look goddamn adorable. Yeah. So oh, I'm sure. I mean, yeah. I, I, I They're can't. dogs. All dogs I don't think are, I've ever yeah. met yeah, an ugly dog. Even the ugly, Even ugly ones, ones are, are like, awesome. yeah, right, yeah. Uh, I love the, like, the tongues out, and they're like barely breathing, and the, they're just like, Ugh. The <laughs> guy like, yes. that started the whole like designer home. breed thing, the, he started the Labradoodles? Yep. With like, like, the golden can, doodles. Yeah, and, yeah. It, it, he went on later to like, say he doodles. really re- regrets doing it, because it breeds in all sorts of like problems for the dog. Oh, yeah. And, I, have, um, I have one client, she has a golden retriever, who's, I guess pretty much going to be followed for the rest of its life like you know kept track of its you know f- behavior and all that jazz because um i guess the golden retriever life expectancy has dropped in general oh really yeah yeah so um and it their their other dog that uh they had he passed away when he was like uh nine so he didn't even reach the double digit range so she's on like a special diet medications, yeah. vitamins, supplements, just to see, you know, if if that plays a part. But, I mean, it's... The most healthiest dog is going to be a mutt. Go, Hell yeah! That's go, what I was go saying. Go adopt a mutt. Cute, lovable, dumb mutt. Like, see, the problem is with this dog is her parent or her great-grandparent should have been screwed by a Labrador, but you people just wanted to keep it all in the family. Right, That's right. the problem. Just throw a little bulldog into that freaking poodle mix. Little Great Dane. What's wrong with Little Great Dane? Yeah. Uh, Little Chinese hairless. So, that sounded weirdly racist. <laughs> <laughs> the Chinese crested hairless dog. Um, so, what do you have uh, in plans for modeling coming up? What month are we in right now? Uh, we April. April. Yeah, yeah, April Fools. Well, I'm not doing that anymore now that I'm pregnant. April Fools! Huh. Uh, they got my April Fool shit in, but um. I just ignored all of Facebook today because it was nothing. About it. <laughs> it's to the point he's doing stupid it, shit. It, it was to the point where there was an actual news story, and people had to be like, like cite local newspapers to be like, no, this is really a thing. <laughs> Jesus, but yeah. Right now for April, I. I have a one of my monthly concepts coming up at the end of the month. We'll see if if that holds. Um, I have a lot of art modeling lined up nice. uh, for a couple of local colleges. I have some. You've been modeling for uh, sculptors. Yep, is I'm there, pretty much just in about every realm of art, yeah. like sketching, is painting. There, is there sculpting. a big difference between? Yeah, um, sculpting's pretty easy. Because uh, you model for Eric. Is it Durant, Durant? Yep. yeah, I've done a, a few of his sculpt of his sculptures. That's, I mean, it's fairly easy because when you're working with clay, you really can only work with like one section of the body at a time. So oh, so you can kind of move around a little. So bit So exactly. So if I mean, he's working on my legs, I really don't have to keep my arms in the air. You know, yeah. vice like versa. Like you just don't care. Exactly. <laughs> Holla. But so yeah, that's actually uh, but. Th- but then usually, I love Eric, puts me in like a pose that, you know, I don't have to work out now for the next couple of days. Even if I'm like coming out of it every 10 minutes or so, it's like, whew. Last time he had me like in a, like a kneel down, but like in a squat, like sit up midway. It's like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, baby. My thighs are feeling it. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's one we've been talking I with do for it a for while our, to I get it onto for the, the kids. podcast. Um, just scheduling yep and actually he's one of the instructors too at one of the colleges that mm-hmm. i model for nice. so uh yep i'll be seeing him and we'll confuse the crap out of his students maybe do some com- compressed forms and some foreshortening and watch them lose their minds now is that something that you think about when you're choosing a pose to be like oh, i'm gonna fuck with them now and no, no i mean i wait <laughs> here with like the theme is with like the instructors sometimes like i had one where they were focused on like foot anatomy, foot and ankle. So it's just like, oh, pff, score. 
Take the socks off. It's like, take it in. <laughs> just letting the toes wiggle. Yeah. Just like tiptoe or just like just right in their face in the air. And they just have to draw all the angles and the curled toes. And you hear like, oh, oh, I can't do this. My, my, favorite, my favorite thing is when I, <laughs> when I get to call, I'll be like, one minute left. And you'll oh, Earlier today, you were like, one minute left. And they were like, oh. <laughs> like the woman over here, like, oh shit! Like, I, oh, I did and that. They're like, was that a threat? <laughs> <laughs> I did that. The last one we did. I thought you were trying to scam me, like, see, see if we could make your jump. What me left? I, I did that last time, and I have me sitting at one of the tables because it, there was enough space. And I, I did the call out, and I did it really loud. And the poor girl next to me, like, <laughs> jumped a mile. She like draws a big dark line <laughs> on the drawing. <laughs> like, there. She just fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> him he's so loud <laughs> um do you prefer one type of class over another like do you prefer like, beginners or you know no the- i i like it all i even when some people will see some drawings of me and they'll be like oh that's that has like nothing that looks nothing like you but i still i love it still because everyone's at their everyone's at a different experience level for starters mm-hmm. and not everyone is you know i mean to follow the curriculum in school and pass, you know, you draw the, the female form. But you could tell some people have more like of a caricature kind of right. vibe to it. Just this, their own their own little zest, and, which and, I love. And that's one of those things is like, I mean, we only do it twice a month. It's different when you're doing it every day or, you know, once a week. But there's some nights where I feel like I'm really on. Yeah. And then there's other nights where I'm like, like I nope, can't draw this ain't working. Shit. Yeah. And it's nice, too, especially when I'm working at colleges, to see the progression with uh, some of the students mm-hmm. as semesters go on. It's like, oh, wow, like you've, like some, some students really come a long way yeah. from where they began. And some just have the, just that knack. They could, like, you know, close their eyes, be half asleep, and, st- and come out with, like, masterpiece we call them assholes yeah <laughs> i think they're so much better than us yeah. Ugh. and uh what about photography do you got anything coming up cool with that Other yeah like i'm your, trying uh, to do ugh, there's a I'm, I'm i'm really trying to do at least my concepts that i've just had written down that i haven't really got back to in years you know and try to do them again so that's that's what i'm trying to do it sucks because then I see something that makes me think of another idea and then I just, which pushes the other concepts on the back burner and I'm, I yeah. try not to do that. So we'll see. Cause there's like a, it's called happy place. It's a, a an event coming to Boston, just very decorated, vivid, vibrant, uh, you know, just sets to play in and photographing and I'm, um, probably going to be taking a few models there with some wardrobe That's but cool. you're only given like a 30 minute time frame so it's like me the photographer the models are gonna get a game plan in order yeah and bang out some stuff in 30 minutes but see i i want to do that idea but i have all these other freaking ideas that i've been uh you know just have on a list that i haven't executed yet that yeah. I really should so we'll see. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do at the end of this month. There's a few options. Kind of all depends sometimes too, because with their group, sh- with them being group shoots, that I can get everybody. That's the one crappy thing about it. Hurting cats sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We-, we get that a lot. Yeah, sometimes. Where they give you a date, and mm-hmm. then you text them like three days before, like we're good, and they're like, oh, I can't mm-hmm. make that date. And like you gave yeah, me that fuck date. That noise. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sometimes I'm even tempted, like, if, like, the photographer is not available, it's like, well, maybe I should just get into photography and just do it myself, but no. I lose my mind enough with wardrobe and directing and sometimes even getting into the modeling and stuff, yeah, no. Is there one part that is your particular favorite? I it all c- kind of depends on, like, what the project is, because there's been some wardrobe shoots that are just so rewarding, you know? Yeah. Then, you know, like, I could have a weekend where I'm directing this shoe modeling for this one doing wardrobe for this one and like the wardrobe one is is the one i find the most rewarding because you know whether it's something i made myself or just like i said depending on what the theme is who i'm working with what's the part that you hate 
Packing. <laughs> wow, it didn't even take a second. Packing. Oh, like this this weekend, for instance, because I, I had a shoot yesterday. I had a group shoot uh, with wardrobe at Fort Tabor in New Bedford. So it mm-hmm. was me, two other models that I was uh, dressing up. So I had to pack for that shit. Yeah. Then I had to pack the three costumes for today. And then I'm down here visiting with, with family. I'm staying with because so I have to pack for that, you know. It's like, oh, don't forget the underwear, Jennifer. You know, we need that. On top of, you know, a bunny, deranged bunny costume. That, that was the first thing that went in my car. But, hey, um, priorities, man. Exactly. Yeah. I, I got them. I got them in, in order. But, yeah, packing. Oh, and then unpacking when I got to get home. No, 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 no. Like, when I went to Florida, I tried my damnedest to pack as light as possible. And thankfully, I mean, everything was, everything was nude. With the exception of... Um, well, the wardrobe, that's pretty easy, though. Exactly. So I didn't really yeah. have to pack much. But with one exception, with the photo shoot, he wanted me uh, with a different hair color, so I had to bring a couple of wig options. Yeah. I swear, I think TSA thought I was, I was flying to Florida to rob. I was going to say... I, I had, was just thinking, have you ever gone like through TSA and then been like, uh, my suitcase, what's with this fucking bunny head? <laughs> my suitcase had nothing really like Florida-based. I didn't even like have like really like a bathing suit or anything like I'm going to go and enjoy yeah. a vacation. I had wigs, glasses, um, like a, a robe, and just like these little minor things. <laughs> and it goes through the scan of the guys. Right like, they're like, oh, no, I'm not okay. stopping her because I don't even want to hear the story. Like, give Florida a heads up. She's coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, as always, Jen, we're super excited that you're still working with us. It's been yeah. like five years, I think. Well, you guys are the ones that keep bringing me back so thank you no problem uh <laughs> where can people go to check out your work photos and whatnot yeah i'm, I'm too lazy for a website but um you could go on uh but you post, the old, you the old on, instagram you post on social media a lot yeah and yeah, I, I, I like that yeah. that's that's basically like my portfolio there like i'm i'm not gonna do these social media outlets and a website and all this other jazz no, I won't have time to wipe my ass comfortably. And that's important in life. A clean butthole. Clean honey. So, um, but yeah, uh, Instagram, you just look up, oh, what the fuck, Jen, O-H-W-T-F-J-E-N-N. Look for the bearded lady with the hairless cat and you've come to the right place. That That is very true. I mean, yes. That was the first photo I ever saw of you. Yeah. That, yeah. I like to make, you know. Yeah. Make it, a good impression. And, I, and I'm like, Fish, I booked this uh, model. And he's like, what she <laughs> look like? I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't um, know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't well, really know. I'll get back to you. She's got a hairless cap. Yeah. I'm like, she might have a beard. I'm not <laughs> real sure. I don't know if she'll have it shaved. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's been like five Maybe years. one day I'll bring a, the beard back for you, you should. guys. That'd be a fucking, like, crazy. That'd be really funny. I would need to find a hairless cat, though. I need that good contrast. Yeah. And see, that was, I don't know. Was it like a stuffed hairless cat? And it's funny, like I don't think that, you bring a real cat Like an idea from that, I met somebody's hairless cat. And it's just like, oh, like this, like this be, a hairless cat be cool for photos. Like what if you were to like put someone like really hairless? Or what if you put someone really hairy next to it? And what if I put myself really hairy next to it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's how that came about. And then I went to... The CVS, this was in Dorchester, CVS, buy myself a bag of chips. Because I wanted the crumbs all in it. Yeah. I just wanted that feel. Oh, like a really gross yep. beard? Yeah. And ask if they sell any Just For Men gel. And they pointed, they told me where it was. Yeah. I didn't there, buy there, any. There must be some But real... I bought some chips. Oh, wait, when you went, did you have the beard on? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was oh, struggling. Oh, really? I'm like, Do you have any Just For Men gel? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> McGrays uh, are coming in. Someday I want to go to a, a convenience store with Jen because I feel like there's some great stories. I, th- I remember one time you were telling us a story about you came from a photo shoot and you're in line at a convenience store and you look down and there's just like chocolate on your elbow. So you just like l- lick it off your elbow and everyone's on chocolate staring at Chocolate on my <laughs> elbow. I've come out of quicksand shoots like my legs and my like feet just covered in dirt. It's like a tribal shoot. Just, you know, war paint all over my face and heading to a cookout right afterwards. <laughs> like, you hey, know. guys, what's up? Hey, guys. <laughs> 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 With some spear. 
Outstanding. Um, so, O W T F J E N N on Instagram. They can check out your stuff there. Yes, and, they can uh, check out my stuff. Photographers there. can contact you, you uh, there. You can go on uh, Facebook, Evie's Closet, Wardrobe Stylist, Creative Directing Services. That's for the all the wardrobe stuff. That that's that's where you see everybody but me. Yeah, from my work there. Yeah. So, uh, or they can come check you out at an EBR Art Life Drawings. That too. So, if they want to draw some fucked up shit. Yeah, we had a great crowd this time, and uh, we can't wait to see what you're going to bring next time. Yep, you guys should start making bets, you know, yeah. like. We're going to make bets. This person gonna, gets I, an additional $10 because he said she was going to be some type of, uh, you know, African animal yeah. from the. <laughs> and, and you will show up in, like, just a bikini. Just totally normal. And we'll all be like, motherfucker. I'll come in in some type of nun's uniform. Yeah, yeah, or the priest, yeah, actually. See, but I not? feel like that would be a guess. I feel like if you just came in totally straight with nothing crazy, that's when everyone came would be like, in God some jeans, it. white t-shirt. Yeah, jeans and a white t-shirt. Dirty like a tank sneakers. Top. Yeah. And I'm I like, just hey, sat what's up, there. guys? And be like, oh, shit. Checking my phone. That'll be the pose. <laughs> all right, Jen. I think that's uh, about it. Mm-hmm. Any uh, departing words for our, our listeners? Uh, stay in school fight the power say no to drugs unless you're doing them with me All right. never turn down free drugs there you go that's from Kenny Powers on he's bound and down <laughs> <laughs> that goes for everyone but my kids <laughs> yeah yeah I mean should your kids even be listening to this uh, they do All right, my kids well, are old just have them put on the earmuffs when it comes to, I don't know, every five yeah. seconds of this conversation. I feel, like, I feel like if I told my kids to put on earmuffs, they'd probably tell me to go screw. Oh, okay. I mean, then they should listen f- to f- it. 15 and 17. Don't listen to your dad. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> earmuffs, kids. <laughs> earmuffs right now. You might. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Good times. Okay, thanks for uh, checking out the podcast. And uh, don't forget to check out our other podcasts on the Inebriar Podcast Network. There's uh, the Bar Talk. There's Old Colony Cast. There's, of course, the Inebriar Podcast. And our latest, uh, Retro Redoctopus, a kind of nerd uh, genre podcast that you can check out now, all available on our website at inebri-art.com. And uh, pretty much available everywhere that podcasts are available on Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, all those things. And uh, if you don't see it where you're looking, let us know. We'll try to get onto that as well. And you can also email us at inebriart at yahoo.com with your questions, complaints, and suggestions. And uh, also, if you could take the time to rate and review us on iTunes, that would be phenomenal. That helps us get more exposure and bring more of these great podcasts to your ears. And uh, thanks again for listening.